What's going on, YouTube? This is Ricky J. Welcome to the final matchup of our first round of our team based Royal Rumble series. And today, man, we have a supreme contrast between two amazing groups, brothers. Two elite groups. We got the Attitude Era, and they're going to be going up against the cartoons mostly 80s cartoons but these are just um, cartoons that I really enjoyed growing up so it's gonna be the Attitude Era versus the cartoons the winner of this matchup is gonna punch their ticket to the Elite Eight to the second round of this tournament style team-based rumble here we go and we're in the beautiful Raw is War <laughs> arena this is great man so here we go 15 on 15 I'll put the rules in the comment section or in the description. Who is coming in at one in this beautiful Raw is War arena? Oh! <laughs> Rolling in at one. It is the one, the only He-Man, Prince of Eternia, and Defender of Castle Grayskull. And I got to tell you, brother, you know what? Growing up, Oh, what an entry by He-Man. Oh, he's not bringing the sword inside. He's going to be fighting with no weapons. Um, He-Man was my favorite cartoon growing up by far. You know, it's sadly, it only existed from, I believe it was like 83 to 85. Um, but they played it on the TV beyond 85. But it was a great show. Love this character. And... The one thing I really enjoyed was at the end of every single episode, He-Man would come on and give you like a life lesson. You know, he would say something like, at the end of this episode, I turn my back on my friend. Uh, but I want to let you all know that sometimes we make mistakes and we argue with our friends. But at the end of the day, we all should stick together and remember that forgiveness is part of friendship. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but I used to really take those messages to heart and apply them if it was in the schoolyard or with my family. It was a great show, man. But anyway, who is He-Man going to be locking horns with to kick off this rumble? Oh, no! <laughs> and if there's anybody that could go size for size with He-Man, it is the game. That is wild. The game rolling in. He kind of is like the modern day He-Man. But he's got that stank look on his face. He's not too happy that Team Cartoons invaded this arena. Shoutouts to What's the Status, man. That guy is one of the greatest created or creation individuals, if that's the word, <laughs> in this game, man. He's famous. What's the status? And this is just a perfect Triple H as he's got the water in. Is he going to spray it at He-Man? Where's He-Man, by the way? Hiding? I am the game. Looking left, looking right. And here we go. Spraying it up high. And in your living room. Here we go. And I had a buddy that tried this at his wedding. And let me tell you, he didn't really master the mist. And um, he got people wet. He used the hose technique, and it didn't go as planned, brother. But that's that's a that's a time for another story, if you know what I mean. I'm not gonna bore you with that. But what's not boring is this physique of Triple H. Look at him! Wow, how is he going to size up against He-Man? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, brother. This is the highlight of my day, man. This is the highlight of my day. Coming home from work and popping this on. Here we go. He-Man getting ambushed. And yeah, there we go. And uh, surprisingly, or not surprisingly, I'm cheering for He-Man. Oh, and was He-Man considered a superhero? Oh, what a knee by Triple H. I think he is. So let's see who's going to come in now. So I definitely have 15 on 15. I tried to alternate the two teams. This is out of Triple H's game. He lands it. And oh my goodness. It's the sister, the twin sister. It's She-Ra. Let's see if She-Ra could save He-Man here. 
Oh, nice job. And look at this. The family kind of, oh, she wasn't really working together. But she's waiting on He-Man. How did she sneak into this Royal Rumble, you ask? I'm telling you, brother, we got our tricks. We got tricks up, up our sleeve on this channel. Oh, a nice little circle there. Is she into boxing? Oh. But here we go. Who's going to come in now? Who is going to help out Triple H? Oh, no, it's China. This is an ultimate two-on-two matchup. It is He-Man and She-Ra versus Triple H in China. And oh, no. China's having a beef with Triple H. And oh, there's <laughs> sister and brother wars going on inside this ring. Oh, this is wild, man. This is what it's all about. The Attitude Era, every man and every woman for themselves. And She-Ra just clocked He-Man. I can't believe what we're seeing right here. And She-Ra's getting the advantage on Triple H. Here comes Panthro. So Panthro is from Thundercats. Here he comes, Panthro. So let's see what happens. So if you eliminate your own teammate, you only get one point. If you eliminate the opposing team, you get two Big Daddy points. So here we go. How about this? She run China. Oh, you know China's gonna have the upper hand there. As She-Ra throwing punches. He-Man having a siesta. He's getting up now. But China's taking them both on. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let's see who's coming in. Oh, it's the rock. <laughs> this is the rock from the late 90s, early 2000s. He's got the hair. The rock, Panthro. Panthro could get. Oh man, what a great job by Triple H reacting right away. I was gonna say Panthro could get his team under on the board here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, thank you thank so, you much, for so the sub. much for the sub. And ain't uh -oh. talking about the sandwich. Are we gonna see He-Man? Oh man, He-Man stays in there. So I'm recording this on OBS, so that's why you hear the chimes. That's why you hear the chimes. Uh oh, Optimus Prime at seven. And how about this? Ashira gets it. It's two nothing. Two nothing for the cartoons. Well, that was pretty clutch work by Shira and China doesn't know what hit her. China doesn't know what's going on here. And Panthro. Panthro sizing up Triple H. Are we gonna see a four spot? No, we're not. No, we are not, brother. And what's this? Oh, pile driver. And what Optimus Prime? That's a mini Optimus Prime. What's going on? It's the cartoon version. Oh, that's disappointing. That's Ken Wayne Shamrock. Oh my gosh, Ken Shamrock's coming in. But what is up with this Optimus Prime? That's the Imposter Prime. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on Optimus Prime. Or maybe it's just the cartoon version. He's tiny. But he should be huge. I think Optimus Prime in real life is like, what, eight feet tall or something like that? Or even taller? Man, I got to check that out. But that is a tiny little Optimus Prime. It's almost like... A small cartoon version. And now here comes Donald Duck. Oh my goodness, Donald Duck rolling in and She-Ra may have the advantage. How about The Rock? The Rock could tie things up here. Oh, what a reversal by Panthro. And it's four nothing for the cartoons. Now four one. Four one as Ken Shamrock eliminated Triple H. Oh, a nice kick by Shamrock. And Ken Shamrock, you know, he was a shoot fighter, right? Like, uh, he, he was a master in the art of shoot fighting. And he has gotten his team on the board. It's 4-1. Holy cow. It's kind of disappointing with The Rock, man. But you can't go charging forward inside these rumbles. Doesn't anybody learn? I don't know what's most more disappointing. The Rock getting eliminated or... Optimus Prime being on, uh, on on the movie Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Honey I Shrunk the Prime. As here comes Benoit at 10. A nice belly to the belly there by Mini Optimus. Dropping the knee. And let's see Benoit. She-Ra giving him the business. And I like this matchup. Ken Shamrock. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, that's a two spot. 
Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, that's a two spot there. So it's six foot, sorry, six three, not six foot three. <laughs> six three. Right now, unofficial score that I have. Hank Hill at 11. Okay, let's see Hank Hill. Hank Hill is not from the, uh, he's not from the 80s. I think he's the only guy not from the 80s. But I love this guy, Hank Hill. Oh, it's now 6-5. Benoit sending Donald Duck south right there. Holy smokes. It is 6-5. All right, here we go, brother. Shawn Michaels at 12. And I tried to find the DX Michaels. Couldn't find them, but I think this is a perfect My Michaels. The Attitude Era started in 97. That was like right after the screw job. <laughs> but um, let's see how this Michaels does. He's in the he's in the 90s as far as overall. And Mini Prime now going after Benoit. Is he gonna get it here? I don't know, man. I feel like he's not tall enough. Sorry to always harp on his height. But I feel like he's not tall enough. Here comes Mickey Mouse at 13. So you got Mickey Mouse at 13. Look at Mickey. Hi guys, this is Mickey Mouse. I wanna say, Ricky, you should have made me a 100 and not an 85. Well, let's see, uh, Mickey, man. You gotta, stats mean nothing. Stats mean nothing in these rumbles. And that's so true, isn't it? We've seen guys in the 70s win these things. Oh! But Benoit is changing the narrative here as He-Man, Prince of Eternia. What's his name? Adam, right? It's now 7-6 for the Attitude Era. Uh-oh. Oh, if right here, if they're successful, it's one point prime, two points tri uh, for, oh! So that's two points for Attitude Era and one point for the cartoon. It is now 9-7. 9-7 right now, and that was a smart move by Shawn Michaels, don't call him Triple H, to go in there and get those much needed points for his team. And how about this, the cartoons now working together. Hill and Prime right on Benoit. Here we go, 9-7. Megatron, <laughs> the leader of the Decepticons. Okay, that's good, he's bigger now. This is what we want. Whoa, oh, nice job by Mini Prime. And Hill's getting manhandled. Oh no, don't tell me, oh, I'm telling you, She-Ra's got, oh no! Oh, I just jinxed her, man. So that's a one-pointer. It is now 9-8. 9-8 for the Attitude Era. Here we go. 9-8. Here comes The Undertaker at 16. Let's see if he's going to work together with Kane. Oh, there. Oh! So we got 10. 9. Right? 10-9. Wow, man. Yeah, that's got to be right. Unofficial score, 10-9. I will double check it when I finish recording this video, but it's 10-9 Attitude Era. Here we go, Megatron. Oh, big boot. He has unsettled business against Optimus Prime, and now he's going after Chris Benoit. Here we go. Bugs Bunny. Are you kidding me? Bugs Bunny. Oh, oh nice job, buddy. Shawn Michaels and Bugs Bunny as lean as lean could be. No effect on Megatron. And now you got The Undertaker throwing Chris Benoit into traffic. And now look at Bugs Bunny working his magic, working his arm action on Megatron. Kind of almost looked like he was going for some kind of an arm bar, but just working that arm, trying to slow him down. Here we go. 18, Stone Cold. Stone Cold Steve Austin. 
Let's see what Stone Cold could do here. Coming in at a decent number. He could do a lot of damage. His team's only up by one. Still anybody's rumble. As Mini Prime trying to take out Bugs Bunny. Uh oh. Oh. He misses. Oh, he misses again. Wow. Chris Benoit getting lucky. And now. Uh oh. Here we go. This is tied, brother. This is tied. It is 10 10. Here comes Tom the Cat from Tom and Jerry. Spoiler alert, there'll be no Jerry inside this one. But I had to put Tom in there as this is deadlocked at tens a piece. Couldn't ask for a better start, in my opinion, in this, uh, inside this Royal Rumble matchup. So let's see what happens. Megatron trying to eavesdrop on Austin and Benoit. But I like how Megatron, he's being passive. There he goes. He goes right after him from behind. Oh, and are we going to see? Don't tell me. Oh, no. That's a two spot. That is a two spot. It's 12-10 for the cartoons. As Shawn Michaels, he didn't know what was going on there. Here comes Jericho at 20. Y2J, remember that? Y2J, and now Benoit. Gaining some kind of advantage here. Oh no, we flipped them over. It is now 12-11 for the cartoons. Oh, that's too bad, man. The big horse and Stone Cold Steve Austin is out of there. And now the cat, Tom, with a splash on the Undertaker. Is he gonna do it again? Oh, Undertaker's like, what are you doing, man? That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work against a dead man. Well, the Undertaker wants nothing of the cat. Is he allergic to cats? Because now he's going after Benoit. Here comes Shaggy Rogers. <laughs> Shaggy. Shaggy's great, man. Look at Shaggy. Oh, how about that? Nice work by the Undertaker. And this matchup, everyone, is tied at 12s. Unofficial score. Again, I know I'm repeating myself, but I will definitely go back and check to see if there's any mistakes but the unofficial score is 12-12. And Tom trying to get rid of Shaggy here. This will only be a one-pointer. Is he going to get it? Gets it. X-Pac. It's now 13-12 for the cartoons. Megatron is exhausted. Look at uh, Bugs Bunny giving The Undertaker uh, a terrible massage. <laughs> <laughs> the dead man didn't like it and now he could get sent packing Megatron doesn't get it is he going to try it again oh he gets it this time 15 now to 12 for the cartoons here comes Skeletor 23 Skeletor the bad guy from He-Man him and He-Man got to work together if they want to be successful Inside this matchup. It's 15, 12. Still anybody's rumble, you know. You got the 13, uh, sorry, the three-point lead. That's all good. And now with this, also be huge. If Jericho can find a way, if he could find a way, it's going to be 16. There's a one-pointer. 16, 12. Here's Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. Oh, X-Pac, 16-14. And I was trying to find uh, a, a version of Kurt Angle with hair, but the models just weren't the best, man. So I had to get bald Angle. It's Kurt Angle, man. On the bad end of uh, Megatron's wrath. And now Skeletor, oh, indecisive by Skeletor. And a great counter by Jericho, 16-14. Nice kick. Here's Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Inspector Gadget, man. I used to love watching this show before school growing up. Da -da -da -da. Inspector Gadget. How about Inspector? And if you've been following this channel, there was another Inspector Gadget we used. Oh my gosh, no! Dude! This is tied. And how about X Pac? But we had a different model. And this new model was a fail.
Let's be real here. He was a fail. This is a tied matchup. 16 all. Eddie Guerrero at 26. Let's see how Guerrero does. Who's he going to go after? It's Jericho. And on the cartoon side of things, as you can see, you have Megatron and Skeletor. But this could be, this could be it, man. Oh, clutch move by Megatron. It's now 18-16 for the cartoon. So we're going to see a choke slam. Nice choke slam by Megatron. If I'm part of the Attitude Era, you got to stop this crazy machine. Here's Lionel. Don't call him Lionel. Lino at 27 with the beautiful mane going right after X-Pac. He's going to try to dispose of him right away. This could be bad news. Oh, don't do it. Oh, no. What was he thinking? A fresh Lino coming in thinking he can just run over guys. And that was one of the quickest in and outs we've ever seen. It's 18-18. Man, that's bad. And how about this? Mankind at 28. As we're nearing the late stages of this Royal Rumble. Still anybody's matchup, brother. Anybody's matchup. As Megatron, basically the only cartoon cast, I should say, that's um, mounting some kind of offense here. He's kind of putting his team on his shoulders. Nice slam by the big man. So let's see now. Who's coming in now? Who is coming in now? It's Homer Simpson at 29. So now this is it for Team Cartoons. You got Skeletor. You got Megatron and Homer. And that is it. It's tied. So the cartoon's fate rests on these guys' shoulders here. Now we're going to see a one spot as X-Pac definitely using all of his strength to try to get Eddie Guerrero out of there. But Guerrero's too strong, man. Guerrero, you know, I don't. I felt like he never got enough respect for his strength. Here come, oh, man. <laughs> Mr. McMahon at 30. You know that he had this staged. Uh-oh. Oh, what, look at how, what's Megatron doing? Is Megatron actually helping? He had his arm kind of stuck there behind Homer Simpson's leg. I don't know what was going on. But it's still 18 all. Unofficial, brother. This is it. Oh, here we go. We're going to see a one spot. Oh, he hits him once. Oh, but Megatron survives. And now, wow, it's now 2018 for the Attitude Era. 2018 and this I'm telling you is such a treat to watch a tight race like this right to the bitter end and it ain't over man it ain't over but it's it's the two bad guys that are going to either get their team to the next round or send them golfing brother I know they don't golf but you know what I mean it's all lies on this tag team. And now Vince trying to get rid of Megatron. Oh, he's not going to do it. And Megatron, he may try to throw him over here. Oh, nice job by Vince McMahon. Going after the big man Megatron. And he's successful at it. So impressed with Vince here. And now Megatron's like, I don't have anything left. Somebody's got to charge him up. Put a USB cable into him. Let him charge because he is done, it seems. And now this will be two. Oh, big whiff. Oh, he hits him with one. Is he going to get him? Now, another guy from the Attitude Era needs to come by and help him out. Unless Vince feels like he could do it all by himself. Is he going to throw that right hand? Usually we'll see if they're successful. A right hand thrown. But he's taking a while. And people are stunned, people are hurt, and Megatron's still in there. 2018 Attitude Era. Nice right hand uppercut there by Megatron. Oh, nice headbutt. And Vince McMahon in this game. If you're unsure, man, he's only a 75 overall. 
And he's holding his own. He is holding his own, man. So let's see here what's going to happen now. This could be, oh, wow. I was going to say, that would have been a one spot for the Attitude Era. And now, X-Pac trying to get rid of Mankind. And look at Skeletor. Don't do it, brother. Don't get rid of your own teammate. You want to have as many of your teammates in there as you can. This late into the Rumble 2018. Oh, oh no, he missed. He missed. He missed again. And now Skeletor trying to eliminate Megatron. He'll get one point for this. He'll get one point. He's trying, but there's a lot of metal up there. Oh, nice job by Megatron. Oh, what a job by Guerrero. It's now 21-18. You got one point for that. You guys are teammates. Here we go. Oh, are we going to see? Oh, for a second, I thought Eddie Guerrero was going to try to steal that elimination. And this could be a two spot here. It is. 23-18. This Attitude Era, all they need to do at this point is eliminate Megatron, and they have themselves a ticket punch to the next round, but it's going to be awfully tough to eliminate this big guy right here. It's going to be tough, as now, see that? Every time somebody tries to grab the back of the neck of Megatron, he finds a way to reverse them. And now if I'm Megatron, i got to find a way to start throwing guys over the top. You know, don't want to waste a lot of time in here with all of these guys coming at you, you know. You don't want to be constantly looking over your shoulder. Oh, what a job by X-Pac. And now Megatron. It's like he's crisscrossing from one guy to the next. Oh, 24. 24-18. And Megatron, man, has got to put something together here. My cartoons are in a heap of trouble. Man, I didn't want to put the Ninja Turtles just because they would uh, take up a four spot, just so you guys know. But it's all good, man. It's all good, and it's far from over. 24-18. Megatron. I'm telling you, if Megatron gets some eliminations, he could do it all. Look at that, a rake to the booty. He can make this comeback a reality if he starts eliminating these guys. But uh-oh, he's got to stop him. Oh, smart move there by Megatron. Almost looked like he was going forward to get these guys from stopping their engaging, you know? from engaging with each other. You know what I'm trying to say. But this is a very interesting final four just because the fate of this matchup rests on Megatron. And Megatron is making it a battle. Staying in there, fighting hard. He's gonna choke slam him. Is he gonna choke slam him out of there? But um, if I had to be critical, he's gotta find a way to go for some eliminations. Here it is. Here it is. This would make it 24-20 unofficially. Wow, it's still a battle. It is still a battle. 24-20. Let's see how Megatron does. <laughs> Megatron's kind of, you know, regained some uh, much needed confidence. And he's got the weight advantage, strength advantage. Maybe not the speed advantage. But that's okay, as he's backing away. Wow, what agility there by X-Pac. And now, oh, gets reversed. And look at Guerrero, Guerrero is stunned. He doesn't even know where he's at right now. He's finally coming to his senses. Finally coming to his senses, but the shots being blocked by Megatron. And another, a kick. Oh, he's gonna choke slab him. Is he gonna choke slab him out of here? Oh, nice reversal there by Eddie. And they got to work together, though. X-Pac and Guerrero, they got to do something here because this is now way too close to call. 24-20. They got to find a way to eliminate Big Megatron. 
as Megatron is actually momentarily stunned. Wow. Is he going to come? Oh, here we go. Well, this would help. Oh, he gets Sweet Chin Music. It's 25. Uh-oh. 25-20. 25-20. So the, if there's a tie, the tiebreaker goes to the team that won the Rumble. So this is so close. 25-20. Is he going to do it, X-Pac? Oh, it's still alive. Megatron putting his team on his back. And he is still in there. 25-20 right now currently for the Attitude Era. <laughs> Uh-oh. Xbox is going to get choke slammed. Down he goes. And he's stunned. Oh, my, man. Oh, my. He has nothing left. He's going to try to throw him out here. He's transitioning. This will be. Is he going to do it? He does it. So this is what happens right here, right now. That is two points for the elimination. That makes it 25-22. Three points for the victory. That makes it 25-25. And the tie break goes to the team that has won this rumble. So cue the comeback alert or the choke alert. But Team Cartoons have won via tiebreak and they are going on now to the next round are you kidding me oh my gosh and again that's unofficial i'll go back and check it was it really this close wow well you know by now but that is wild ultimate choke job not the ultimate screw job attitude era has been eliminated unreal stuff but anyways guys keep it locked here for the second round, the Elite Eight. Can't wait to show you guys the matchups. And I'll see you next time, man. This is Ricky J. Love you all. Take care.